Hey, what is going on, guys? DK, back at you with another video here. Today, on the Sunday night showdown site between the Bears and the Chiefs. A couple things before I get into the video. If you're new to the channel, my name's DK. I make daily videos talking about NFL DFS as well as NBA DFS on DraftKings. I'm also running a weekly $20 PayPal giveaway. How it works, all you have to do is a like and a comment in the video. It's one entry in the giveaway. Max one comment, though, per video. So it starts with my Monday night showdown video that I uploaded at the beginning of the week. We'll go throughout the week. We'll end my Monday night showdown video that I upload either later tonight or tomorrow morning. Um, so however many videos I've uploaded for the week, you end the giveaway that many times. So if I have 10 videos uploaded for the week, you end the giveaway 10 times. And the winner, again, receives $20 PayPal for myself. But with that out of the way, let's jump in the video. So first, before we talk about players and their salaries, let's look at the over-under and the spread, as well as some snap counts for both teams. So Chiefs Bears right now sitting at 45 over under with uh, the Chiefs here by seven. So, uh, you know, 45 is about in the you know average mid-tier range, right? Not super high, not super low. Uh, but let's take a look at some snap counts here. So the headache here is the Kansas City running back situation, right? That last game, McCoy played 25% of the snaps. Darwin Thompson played 35 uh, and Spencer Ware played 40. And now we got Damian Williams back in the mix. So it's just, uh, yeah, it's going to be a headache to figure out. Um, it could be a four-headed monster. I don't know. It's it's going to be tough. I think, you know, the guy with the best opportunity and the most carries is probably Damian Williams, even though he's coming back from injury. But still, it's going to make it tricky to target those Kansas City running backs, right? As far as the wide receivers go, a little more clarity here. Like Tyreek Hill, we'll know he'll get like 80 to 90% of snaps. Sammy Watkins, about the same. And then Demarcus Robinson, about, you know, in the 60% range with McCall Hardman, you know, picking up about 20% of the snaps. As far as tight ends go, again, some more clarity. Uh, Travis Kelsey basically plays the whole game. Uh, they do run Blake Bell out there a decent amount of times. Uh, he played 44% of the snaps that last game. As far as the Bears go, so, uh, you know, they got a two-headed monster here, basically with just David Montgomery and Tariq Cohen. You know, David Montgomery the lead back, uh, while Tariq Cohen is more the third down back. As far as the wide receivers go, you know, Robinson and Miller basically playing the whole game. And then it's the, with, with uh, Taylor Gabriel still out, there's been a combination of like Wims, Cordero, Patterson, and Riley Ridley playing that number three role. Uh, Patterson and Ridley played, or Patterson played at 44% and Ridley played at 49% in the last game. So those guys we can take shots on. As far as the tight end situation goes, another kind of headache. Uh, JP Holmes played at 45% of the snaps while uh, Horstead played at 49%. So, uh, let's jump into it. We'll start at the top here with Patrick Mahomes at 12K. So uh, the quarterbacks on these showdown sites have the highest floor. And normally I don't consider playing the quarterbacks in the captain spot unless they have rushing upside. Um, you know, Patrick Mahomes is not a guy that's going to have like 100 yards rushing like Lamar Jackson, right? But he is a guy that can get you like 40, 50 yards on the ground and a touchdown. So very much, you know, consider Patrick Mahomes. And it's Patrick Mahomes, right? He has huge upside no matter what. Even in a you know somewhat tougher spot, I think he stands out as a safe option. It's just whether or not you feel comfortable with the value guys in your lineup to get Mahomes in your lineup. So Mahomes, again, I think he stands out as a, a very safe play. I'm very much considering him in the captain spot too. So no issue if you want to spend up all the way for Patrick Mahomes. As far as his number, uh, you know, his top targets here with Tyreek Hill and Travis Kelsey, um, you know, Hill is at 11K uh, while uh, Travis Kelsey is at 10.8, right? These guys are pretty expensive. But you can probably fit, uh, you know, one of those guys in there with Mahomes. Now, if you're going to make me pick between Kelsey and Mahomes, or um, Kelsey and Tyreek Hill, I should say, I think Travis Kelsey probably stands out as the safer option, right? He's had almost double-digit targets in the last four games, um, you know, with 10, 9, 9, and 13. While Tyreek Hill may be a little bit more boomer bust, but the upside is, in my opinion, a little bit higher on him because he runs those deep routes. So I guess if you're going to make me choose... I would go, you know, Travis Kelsey is the safer option, while Tyreek Hill with the riskier option, but I think he has more upside. Um, then we get to the, uh, you know, Chicago guys. So we'll start with Mr. Trubisky here at 8.8K. I do have some interest in him. Um, he's been pretty solid the last four games, 20, 27, 33, 21 fantasy points. Another guy that's, um, again, not like a Lamar Jackson who's going to have like 100 yards rushing, but he is a guy that can get you like 50 yards on the ground on a touchdown. Same thing with Mahomes. So, very much considering him as well, and I think you could go in their captain spot. And, you know, the Chiefs are favored by seven points, so it should be good game script for, for Trubisky, right? They should be playing from behind. So, uh, very much considering Trubisky as well. I think you can play both quarterbacks. Again, it's all about whether or not you feel comfortable with those value guys in your lineup, though. So, uh, with both Trubisky and Mahomes, I like both those guys. 
I think I, you can consider both for the captain spot as well. Um, you know, obviously Trubisky is what, like 3K uh, cheaper than Mahomes. So, like I said, if you want to pick between the two, um, it's tricky. If you can definitely play both though, um, I think both have a decent amount of upside in this game. Uh, then we get to the the Bears receivers. So Allen Robinson, and Anthony Miller have been playing like the whole game, last couple games. Robinson at 9.8. Um, you know, just stands out as a pretty good option, right? 10, 12, 8, 14 targets. He's had over 20 fancy points the last four games as well. This stands out as a really, really safe option. Anthony Miller as well, uh, 13 and 15 targets in two of the last three games. So uh, he's also had double-digit fantasy points the last four outings as well. Um, yeah, it's it's really, I have no issue with both Robinson and Anthony Miller. Robinson is about, you know, $1,500 more expensive. So if you can't get to him, I don't mind taking the savings on Miller. But both are good options. Both will play the whole game. And both, again, should be good game script here with the Bears, um, you know, nine point or seven point underdogs. It should be good game script. As far as the Bears running back. So Dave Montgomery is at 7.4 while Tariq Cohen is at 7.2. Montgomery, my issue with him is he doesn't get involved a lot in the passing game, right? That's more of Tariq Cohen's role. So if you think the Bears are going to be playing from ahead in this one, which is, you know, I think a little bit contrarian, right? It's a seven, they're seven point dogs. But if you think the Bears are going to be playing from ahead, I think you play Montgomery. If you think they're going to be playing from behind, I think you go Tariq Cohen. Now, personally, I would lean towards Tariq Cohen. He's a bit, you know, riskier option, right? He's not going to get the, uh, a lot of work on the ground, but he's basically he uses wide receiver, um, you know, five or nine, four, six, ten targets. This, again, the Bears should be playing from behind this one. So I think I would lean towards Cohen over Montgomery if you're going to make me pick a Bears running back. And then we get to, we'll talk about the Kansas City running backs. It's kind of a headache, right? Damian Williams is back. He was doing that rib injury. We'll see what they end up doing, right? They got McCoy, Spencer Ware, Darwin Thompson. So I think in my opinion, uh, these guys are more of just dart throws. Unless we get clarity that like one back is going to be the main back. But we've seen it throughout the year. The Chiefs like rotating through their backs. And if they have like four guys in the mix, it's just pretty unappealing. So you can take dart throws on these guys, but I just don't feel great about it. Sammy Watkins has been really disappointing since that big week one, right? He's a guy that I just don't think has huge upside, an okay option, right? He's going to be super low owned. So I guess I don't mind taking a shot at that price, but I'm not going to go out of my way to get him in there. McCoy, he's in, again, if you want to take a shot there, you can. I just don't feel great about these. Uh, Kansas City running back. So the two kickers are all very much are both very much viable. Um, I think I would lean towards uh, Buckner if you're going to make me pick between the two because you know the Chiefs are again seven point favorites. But no issue if you want to go Pinario though. Let's see, McCole Hardman only a dart throw right. He's been playing about twenty percent of snaps. Now he does have the big play upside. We saw in the game against New England, one catch, forty eight yards, and a touchdown. But I just can't recommend that with confidence with him only playing about twenty percent of the snaps. Darwin Thompson again in that range of you know. The running back mix, you can take a shot on. He's cheap, but I, I just don't know what these what the running back rotation is going to be like for Kansas City. Same thing with Spencer Ware. As far as the defenses go, the Bears are at 2.8. Did I pass the Chiefs? Chiefs are at 4.8. Um, not super high on either defense. Now, the Chiefs have been okay, but playing on the road against the Bears, uh, the Bears at 2.8, they're a pretty solid defense, but obviously, again, going up against Patrick Mahomes. So you can go through the defense. I just don't have a great feeling about either. Now, Demarcus Robinson is a guy that I don't mind, I guess, at 2K. Again, not a guy that has a lot of upside. We'll probably only get a couple catches for you. But he is, you know, playing, let's see, so 79 that last game, or two games ago, 56% the last game. So he'll be out there for a decent amount of time. Again, you can take a shot there. Um, you know, if you're going to go up for those stars, right, like Mahomes, um, you know, some of those, you know, Tyreek Hill, Travis Kelsey, or some of the Bears guys, you're going to have to take some shots on a couple of these cheap guys. So Demarcus Robinson, you can take a shot there. A Horstead is, uh, you know, him and J.P. Holtz played, uh, you know, about half the game. Another one of those guys where I don't mind it, right, he's 1.6K, so if he gets a couple catches, that's, you know, it probably gets you there. So, Again, he's in that range. You can take a shot on Cordero Patterson. Kind of filled in uh, for the number three role. He's at 1.2K. Another guy that uh, is very much in play as a value guy. Even Riley Ridley, right? Both him and Cordero Patterson played. Let's see where they at. Cordero played 44. Riley Ridley played 49%. So those two are in the same range of Demarcus Robinson, right? You're really not going to feel great about playing these guys. 
but playing one of those guys or maybe two opens up a lot. You know, it can get those stars in the lineup. So, um, yeah, those guys are very much in play as, you know, cheap guys. Um, I got Holtz, uh, JP Holtz as well. Um, I think, I guess I would prefer Horstead for a little bit more, but, you know, both those tight ends are viable. And then I think that's really it. Wim snaps went way down, right? He only played um, 10% of that last game. And then who else do we have? Byron Pringle. I don't think, maybe you played a couple snaps that last game. Yeah, play 9%. You, you can't do that. Uh, Blake Bell at 200. He did have two catches the last game. He's 200, raised the flat minimum. I guess you can do it. He's really not involved a whole lot, though, uh, as far as pass catching goes. And that is basically it. So let's talk about captains here. Again, I think uh, the both quarterbacks are probably the safer, uh, safest options with Mahomes and uh, Mitch Trubisky. Uh, you know, if you're going to play Mahomes in the captain spot, get some correlation in there. So maybe get like Tyreek Hill uh, and like one of the of those uh, Kansas City receivers in there. If you're going to play Mitch Trubisky in your captain spot, which I have no issue with as well, I think Trubisky goes a lot lower owned compared to Patrick Mahomes. But you know, if you're going to play him in there, get some correlation, right? Get uh, a couple Bears receivers in there and move on. You can also play both quarterbacks if you want to. Um, again, if you play both, if you play like Mahomes at the captain and throw Trubisky in there, you got 5.8K remaining. So you can probably get like one more of these expensive guys in there, and then you have to take some shots at some cheaper guys. As far as the skill position, guys, you know, I think Tyreek Hill is a lot of upside. I think uh, Travis Kelsey may be the safer option. So if you're going for more safety, maybe Travis Kelsey. If you're going for more upside, maybe go Tyreek Hill in the captain spot. The two Bears receivers, it should be good game script. So no issue if you want to go Robinson. No issue if you want to go Anthony Miller. So those are probably, you know, the safer options, right? I know that they're the six most expensive guys, but those six, uh, you know, had the most upside. As far as the Bears running backs, I think I would prefer Tyreek uh, Tari Cohen there. Um, I think, you know, the Bears should be playing from behind this one. Sammy Watkins, if you're taking ownership in consideration, right, he's been terrible since week one. He's going to be pretty low owned, in my opinion. So you could always take a shot there. Uh, you know, in my opinion, the Kansas City running backs right now are just dart throws. I don't feel great about either. Um, and then we get to the cheap guys, right? So, you know, guys like Robinson, Horstead, Correll, Patterson, Ridley, J.P. Holtz, these guys are all in the range of you can take shots on them. You're not going to feel great playing these guys, but you're probably going to have to play one of those guys, maybe two, to get uh, you know those stars in there. Um, and again, if you want to take a shot on one of these guys in the captain spot, like say you throw, I don't know, Cordero Patterson in the captain spot, then you have 9.6k remaining. You can fit a lot into your, like into your lineup, right? You can fit like the two quarterbacks. You can fit, you know. A couple of Kansas City guys, maybe one of the, the Bears receivers, and then kind of go from there. So that's always an option, too. Um, you know, that's definitely a riskier option, right? Targeting one of those cheap guys in the captain spot. But if they have, like, a long touchdown, then you're golden. So that is always an option as well. But I think that's going to do it for today's video, guys. So if you have been enjoying the content, would really appreciate it if you could like the video and subscribe. Again, if you want to get entered in the giveaway, all you have to do is have a like and a comment in the video. Um, I will be back for another video to break down the Monday night showdown video or the Monday night showdown slate where I will announce the winner to the $20 PayPal giveaway. Also, if you guys are interested in NBA, um, I will have, I just uploaded my video for the four game NBA main slate. So again, if you're interested in that, uh, you can check that video out, but thanks again for everyone coming to check out the video. I will see you guys, uh, later.